This is our 2021 Honda CRF 125 FB. And for the next video in our video series on this machine, I feel like it's time to do some adjustment on the rear brakes. We have owned this bike for 11 months. And just recently, I've noticed while riding that it feels like there's a lot of movement in that pedal to get the rear brakes to do what I want them to do. So that's why we're addressing this today. The first step that I'm going to take today to improve comfort while riding on this bike is I'm going to adjust the brake pedal downward just a hair. And following the instructions in the owner's manual, we'll do that by loosening this bottom nut. And now I'm going to turn the top nut counterclockwise. As I do that, it will push the back up and the front down. And I'm not going to go very far, but I would like to lower that just a bit for my own comfort while riding. Doesn't need to be much. I think I'm going to set it there. And now I can adjust the drum in the back once I have this snugged up. The owner's manual states that there should be 3 sixteenths to 3 quarters of an inch of free play out here at the end of this brake pedal before it engages the rear drum. Now I've got the bike pulled that direction so that the back tire's off the ground. Let's see how much free play I have. Again, I've never adjusted the rear brakes on this bike since it was purchased in February of last year, and we've ridden it a lot. So I'm gonna spin the back tire, and let's see how much free play we have. We've got a lot. It looks like closer to two inches of free play, inch and a half before it engages. So I've got a lot of adjusting to do. The back drum is adjusted using a 14 millimeter wrench, like so. And if I turn it clockwise, it will tighten on this brake rod here, pull this direction and tighten the rear brakes. So I'm just gonna take a stab at it and do some adjusting, do quite a bit, and let's see where we end up. I made a big adjustment to the rear drum. Let's see if it uh, changed anything with our free play here at the pedal. So it's definitely less. But it looks to me like I still have at least an inch before it starts to engage, perhaps a little more. So we need to, I need to take up more slack in the back. I made one more full turn on the rear brake adjusting nut, and I like where that brake is now, that brake pedal. It looks like I have less than an inch of free play until it engages the rear drum, and I think that's about in line with what the owner's manual is after. The owner's manual states that this arrow and this arrow are wear indicators for the rear brakes. When you depress the rear brake pedal and this arrow lines up with this arrow, it means that your brake shoes have worn to the point where they need to be replaced. My son is helping me and I'm going to have him depress the rear brake pedal now. We can see that those arrows don't line up when he does that. So we know that we still have some life left in the rear brake shoes, and I wanna see if this feels better to me now. Yes, that feels the way it ought to. Much less free play in that brake pedal, and we've lowered the brake pedal just a hair. This is video number 22 in our 2021 Honda CRF 125 FB video series. If you are interested in what accessories or modifications we've made to the bike, those are listed with links to products in the video description. If you are interested in the Honda CRF 125 FB or thinking that you may purchase one or perhaps you own one, we invite you to follow along.